Hey guys, welcome to Tavi Eats. This is Shinichi, and today we're going to be making a festive birthday mug cake. That's right, we're going to make a birthday cake in a mug. Now, sometimes a whole cake is just too much. Especially if you're a small family or if you're just a couple. So this is a perfect cake in those situations um, It's also one of my very good friends birthday today. It's Nancy Hardest birthday So happy birthday Nancy watch until the end of this video because I have a tiny little surprise for you um, She also likes to keep things very easy, which is why I decided to make a mug cake for her today um, So without further ado, let's get started Alright guys, so here in the ingredients, we're making two mug cakes today. So for this, we're going to be using two tablespoons of grapeseed oil. You can use unsalted uh, butter that's melted, but I'm going to just keep things just a little bit healthier today. We're also um, going to be using one large egg, two tablespoons of milk, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a quarter cup of granulated sugar, six tablespoons of flour with one teaspoon of baking powder as well as a tiny pinch of salt. We're also going to be using some sprinkles because after all, it is a birthday cake. So I'm going to be making a very simple buttercream frosting. We're simply going to be using some powdered sugar, some butter that's been softened at room temperature, vanilla extract, and um, just a little bit of milk. Um, the exact amounts can be found in the description box below but really you can adjust it to your taste because some people like their frostings a little bit sweeter. I like mine not as sweet. Um, in fact, I think I, I may be making just a little bit too much buttercream today but that's okay because I can always use it for something else. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add the uh, grapeseed oil. Like I said, you can go ahead and use butter. I'm also going to crack one egg right into the mug. At this point, you want to whisk it with a fork. Just mix it for about 30 seconds until the egg and the oil is well incorporated. And then we're going to add um, the milk right into the mug. Some vanilla extract. And we're going to add the sugar. And give it a quick mix around again. So we're going to add in the flour, just dump all of that in, and we're going to add the baking powder and just a pinch of salt, just a pinch of salt. We're just going to mix it up until there are no big lumps or glumps of egg or flour or you know what I'm trying to say, right? Finally, we're going to add the rainbow sprinkles. So. Add it in and give that a stir. And now all we have to do is divide this batter into two. So here we go. Just try to pour it in as evenly as you can because you don't want to fight over who has the bigger cake. You know what I mean? I'm going to microwave them individually for 50 seconds each. All right. All right, so I'm going to put it in my microwave. One at a time. Okay, so let's check out our cake. That looks wonderful. That looks perfect. Now you don't want to overcook it, so that's just about right. So the cakes are ready. Looking good, smelling awesome. But we have to work on the frosting. So let's set this aside. So to our powdered sugar, I'm going to add in my butter that's softened already. We're going to add just a little bit of vanilla extract for flavor. And I'm just going to add just a little bit of milk. I'm going to start off with about that much. So let me add a little bit more. And we'll keep mixing it up. Now I decided to do one more thing. I decided at the last minute that I want the frosting to be a really pretty pink color. So I'm going to be adding a little bit of food coloring. So really, for this amount of frosting, a little bit goes a long way. So uh, I think that should do it. There we go. I think um, this is the color that I'm going for. As you can see, it's a really beautiful spring pastel pink. Now I could just spoon this right on top of the cake. But no, I don't think so. I think I'm actually going to pipe it on. So let's do that for Nancy, shall we? 
Okay, so I have a Ziploc bag here. I'm gonna put this tip facing down into the, uh, my glass. This just makes it easier for me to get the frosting in. All right, I'm gonna scoop this inside. That's it. And we're just gonna push it to one corner, like so. And just twist it like this. Finally, we're gonna snip off the very tip. Don't snip too much off now. Okay? Okay, that's it. Alright, and here we go. Really, nothing difficult about this step. Just pipe on a little bit of frosting on the top. And we're gonna do the same thing for the other one. There we go. Hmm. And we add some of the sprinkles on top. Look at that. Gorgeous. Adorable, gorgeous, festive, just beautiful. So before I dig into this beautiful mug cake, um, it is also Nancy's birthday. So let me sing you a birthday song. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nancy. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish, Nancy. Happy birthday, my dear. And um, yeah. So happy birthday to Nancy and happy birthday to everyone who's celebrating your birthday. Now it's time to taste test. Um, let me blow it out for you guys. All right. So this is so good. This is good for any occasion. Birthday, Monday, Sunday, it really doesn't matter. It is so good. Mm. Mm. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's mud cake. If you did, Give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Also, if you like, wish Nancy a happy birthday, alright? As always, send in your requests and if you haven't already done so, subscribe to our channel for more videos. Until next time, take care guys and if you're celebrating a birthday, happy birthday. Bye bye. Flying into danger, mm. I'll be the pilot, mm. you can be the mm. major. Happy birthday. Okay. Happy birthday, Nancy. Have a good day. <laughs>